Good evening. So glad to have you here. I'm Brendan Clark. Good evening, everyone. We are glad you're watching. I'm Carolyn Murray. The North Charleston Police Department is working to build a better relationship between members of the community and law enforcement officers, specifically with the Hispanic community. And yeah, they've made a new position to do just that. News 2 Sophia Radebaugh joins us live from North Charleston. And Sophia, you had the chance to speak with him in a story that you'll see only here on News 2. Yes, well, in just the three months that he's held the position as community liaison, William Leon says he's seen a significant difference in the way that the Hispanic community in North Charleston relates to the police, and it's a community he says is very near and dear to his heart. Living in Panama for 17 years, William Leon witnessed corruption in law enforcement firsthand. It was full on dictatorship. He moved back to the United States in his 20s and since then has dedicated his life to trustworthy policing. And that's what brought him to North Charleston three months ago. When I heard about the position and I heard what it entailed, it really got to me. I said, you know what, this is the opportunity for me to actually make a huge change for the good. The North Charleston Police Department brought Leon in to be their first ever community liaison. You are that link in between the police department and the communities. Leon specifically focuses on the Hispanic communities in North Charleston. He says crimes against Hispanics have skyrocketed in the past year, especially robberies. A lot of them, their uh, migration status is non favorable. So therefore, they decide not to open bank accounts, um, carrying large amounts of cash. And a large majority of Hispanic immigrants have a fear of law enforcement based on their experience in other countries. These people, they're coming from other countries, you know, they, they left for a reason. Corruption, abuse. Leon says many undocumented immigrants also fear that they will be deported if they report crimes committed against them. So he says it's his main goal to ease the tensions the Hispanic community feels towards police and make them aware of their rights. He says in the time he's been here, he's seen crime decrease and better relationships develop. So I have the ability to explain people the reason why some things happen. To me, that's rewarding. And Leon's work here in the North Charleston community is so vital. And you heard him talk about how people in the Hispanic community a lot of times don't have bank accounts. We'll get this. Leon is hosting a community event next weekend where he's partnered with a lot of banks across the low country, and they're going to help the Hispanic community set up bank accounts. Live in North Charleston, Sophia Radebaugh, Count on Two.